Hey survivors, Skippy here again. So, we've survived up till day 6 here. So what I've done is I've matched day 6 and day 7 together because day 6 is pretty much preparation. Uh, go out, get your meat, uh, grind your materials, anything else that you may have that you don't have yet. Uh, go and get it because day 6 is really quiet. The, the day before hard night I find is always very quiet. Uh, so it's a great day to go out, do your scav uh, scavenging, you know, smash some doors in, get some shit from houses, uh, get anything you possibly need. And also too, make sure that you have uh, some good tools uh, make sure that you've leveled your tools overnight uh, now I've gotten my uh, my tools and everything up to uh, up to level three or 400 uh, but I also found these cool things too you guys might come across them at some point in time in um, in a trunk uh, but they're night vision goggles they look like crap they don't actually really work uh, but they're kind of cool uh, <laughs> you can't really see shit uh, but if you do find a working pair those are cool as well too uh, I just thought I'd show you guys that really quickly. It's um, you don't come across them too too often, so I was I was pretty excited about that. Another thing is too, since it's before day seven and we don't have screamers or a heat map effect yet. Um, Make sure that you keep your forge running. Day six, day seven, keep that forge going, keep pumping it full of crap as much as you possibly can because right now is the time that you can leave your campfire on and your forge without having to worry about anything. Uh, in later episodes, I'll definitely explain that a little, little bit more, but we don't need to worry about that quite yet. Uh, so um, what I've done here too is I've also found, uh, finally found a uh, schematic for the uh, the crossbow. Uh, the crossbow was awesome, guys. If you find a schematic for the crossbow, build it right away. Uh, what the recipe does call for is uh, two pieces of leather. Uh, so what I do here to get my leather, because I don't have any leather recipes or I don't have any of that, is I go and find a pristine car and I tear it down one level. So if you go up an untouched car, I'm sorry. If you go up to your untouched car and strip it down, you'll end up with a couple pieces of leather. Uh, now you can see I already got one. Uh, make sure I check it before I break it, and then I get the other one here, and then I can dis or then I can assemble my crossbow. So now what I'm going to do, since it's still only day six, is uh, I've made my crossbow. I'm going to make some um, some iron bolts as well too. You can make regular crossbow bolts, uh, but the iron ones do a much better job. Uh, you can make the iron uh, the the arrowheads in your forge as well. Uh, so today I'm going to spend doing some running around, doing some looting and everything else, and uh, I'll see you guys in one second here. So by this point in the game too, you might be uh, quite tired of uh, hopping up and down the wood frames to get to the top of your building. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is actually put um, some la uh, some ladders up the side of the building. Uh while I'm making my iron crossbows. Uh, I put my ladders in the inventory first. If you ever find you have to cancel something, uh, that you're making something and you need something right away, go over to that crafting menu and if you hover over it, it'll give you a small red X. You can actually cancel what you're crafting at the moment. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is toss a ladder up the uh, up to the top of my building. Uh, that way I can get up and down and all I'm doing is uh, simply leaving one space at the bottom of the ladder. Um, what you can do as well too is craft yourself a a hay bale. If you look in your crafting menu, you should be able to find it under basics. Uh, what a hay bale will do if uh, it's made out of plant fibers is uh, if you do fall, you can actually land on the hay bale and it won't do any damage to you. Uh, but what you want to do in order to do that is actually remove the bottom ladder, put a hay bale, and then put a ladder a block above the hay bale. Because if there is a ladder right above the hay bale, it'll count uh, if you fall as if you're hitting the ladder and not the hay bale. So just a quick heads up. Also, what you may want to do too, so that way you don't fall off the side of the building trying to find your ladder, is maybe make yourself a little marker as, as I did right there. Now remember I was telling you guys how freaking awesome the crossbow is. It's actually my preferred weapon of choice for one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, not necessarily taking on a horde if I'm trying to get away, but one-on-one -on -one, it's a great weapon. Uh, with a simple headshot, you can take down most of the zombies uh, just in one shot, as you guys uh, see me doing here. Uh, one, two, three, I missed that one. And then I'm gonna destroy this girl here. 
and one headshot to this one here as well. Uh, now, you guys do see that one standing in the background, kind of standing up in the air. It's it's glitched out. That's been around in the game for a little while now. Uh, hopefully, they get around to uh, to fixing it. It's just a graphical glitch. That's that's really all it is. You don't need to worry about it. Um, but as I say, guys, always double tap tap just to make sure because sometimes they can stand up like that when they're stunned. Uh, so they'll look dead, but then all of a sudden they'll come back alive. Well, now it's day seven and I've spent the night once again uh, doing all my tools, keeping my uh, forge running, campfire running, definitely taking advantage of uh uh, have no screamers yet. Uh, so now what you want to do is you, you want to come down and you actually want to do some house cleaning up around your base. What I'm doing is I'm picking up some small stones. Um, I will get rid of those nests eventually and I'm lawn and, and lawn mowing my lawn like Chuck Norris does by, by pretty much punching it all out. Because what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be beefing up the base uh, in preparation for the uh, the seventh day horde. Uh, now I know you guys if this is your first time experiencing a horde you're, you're probably very nervous. Um, don't worry guys. Uh, the way that the way we do this uh, will ensure that you'll make your way through the night with minimal damage to your base. You're going to get hit, but you're not going to get hit hard. And if they do make it through, most likely they're all going to be crawling. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up uh, lawn mowing and picking up everything around the base. So I finished my uh, my Chuck Norris lawn mowing here. Uh, what I do recommend, guys, if you do have any skill points to spend, definitely spend them before you get your horde. So what I'm doing is I always concentrate on my health stuff first and also the scavenging as well, but I've already taken care of that. Uh, you have your different perks here. As you can see, I'm going through the menu. You have the survivor, which makes you not have to eat as much, run forest run. You can run further without taking up as much stamina. Uh, you got the camel. Uh, your athletic set um, levels up naturally. As you can see, I couldn't get health nut because my athletics isn't up to level 40 yet, but I really recommend guys don't waste your health points on the stuff that you can level up naturally. Um, as I'm doing, I'm doing the skills like the camel, the survival, uh, run, forest, run. Uh, that's all stuff that'll make it a lot easier for you and you'll have to stop to eat and drink a lot less. We already also too, uh, already have spikes outside of the place, but since the day seven horde is fairly large and you're gonna get a lot of them, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go around your base and beef up the defenses. Uh, now, I like to go three, four, five, six out. I usually find that's good enough to uh, to give them a hard time before they get to your base. Uh, you can go crazy if you have a shitload of supplies. I mean, you can go as far out as you want. Uh, just make sure that you build a bridge across it with your frames so that <laughs> you can escape. Uh, so basically, the, the easiest way I find to do this is kind of look at the ground and then move one over without uh, using your... Uh, uh, look but or your left arrow your right arrow no your right stick there we go that's the words I was looking for uh, so it, it's really easy because what, what you can do is you can place it and then it, it automatically suggests the next spot so if you do it right looking directly on it it'll actually like as you can see there it'll, it'll suggest you know you want to place it in front just like that. So you just press the button three times and there you go. Uh, now I find placing spikes three deep like this is the safest way to do it. Um, if you try four, you're gonna end up hitting yourself on the spikes. So I really don't recommend doing it that way. Uh, but I'm gonna finish up getting the spikes all the way around here, guys, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've gotten all the spikes around. I've gone out as well too. It's a little bit later in the day and I've gotten all my uh, extra supplies and spent some time doing that. Uh, now you guys seen right there too where I put the hay bale down and took out the ladder above it so that if I if I do fall, uh, it won't kill me. Uh, so what you might want to do, especially because it's nighttime, is go around and lay some torches out in the open areas. Uh, that way you can actually see the zombies coming at you and it gives you a little bit more of an advantage. So now that you're all done, your end result should look a little bit like this. So you got uh, you got a good amount of spikes out. You got it all lit up. Uh, now I got an hour here to wait for the horde. Uh, so what I'm gonna do in that last hour is make sure I've drank, make sure I've ate, uh, make sure I have my toolbar and everything, or my tool belt and everything together and organized. That way, if something happens, um, I know I can defend myself, heal myself, or get the hell out of the way if I need to. 
Okay, so we are at 2200 guys. I wanted to show you the blood moon, but unfortunately it was a cloudy night So I didn't get a good shot of the blood moon on this one uh, But that's okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm listening. I'm waiting uh, after 2200 when it goes dark It's nighttime. You will get your horde uh, So what I'm doing is just kind of slowly walking around the building. I'm listening. I'm trying to find them uh, you will soon start hearing zombies and you'll stu soon start hearing zombies hitting spikes. Uh, now listen for that and that will let you know exactly uh, exactly where they are on the building for you. Uh, now by this time I start hearing them and oh there we are, uh, that's where the horde is coming from. Uh, so now they just kind of come a couple at a time then they start coming more and more and more and as you can see they're starting to hit my spikes now and if you notice it breaks their legs and forces them to crawl which makes them slower and the special zombies as well too can't perform their special moves uh, if their legs are broken like that. Uh, so you will have a few make it through and that's where you take your crossbow or your weapon and you just kind of take pot shots at them. Don't fret too much guys about the, your lower levels of your base. They're going to get hit a bit. You know, it, it's, it's, it's what happens. You don't try to go down there. Um, I do fall eventually and I'll show you guys what to do if you do fall. Don't panic. Uh, just gather yourself together, try to avoid the zombies and get back. Uh, now this little bugger here, this is the first time you're probably seeing one of these guys unless you've been in the hub city. This guy is a spider. Uh, now you can see why I put that extra uh, things of spikes around the building. Uh, that is a spider guys. You want to kill those right away because they will climb up the side of your building. Uh, there are ways to defend yourselves against spiders, uh, but uh, I didn't do it in this episode because it takes iron bars and they're quite expensive. Uh, now these fat guys here too, the, uh, the bloated walkers, those guys will chew up your spikes and spit them out. Uh, they take a lot of damage and uh, they'll take out a lot of your spikes. So try to make them a priority as well here too. Uh, now I know you guys do see those zombies, um, you know, getting past all this and going to the front of my building. Don't worry about them yet. Just try to keep taking them down as they're coming in. Those guys are going to hit the spikes that I have set up inside and in front of the building. So those should take care of them for now. There we are. Uh, so this this horde will last you a little while. It'll keep it'll keep you busy for uh, quite a bit here. As you can see, that even that guy is crawling. He, he, he can't do much. And the rest of them are in, dead in front of the building, like I told you. Uh, so pretty much now is almost the time I uh, I fall off the edge of the building. I did this purposely because it is so easy to do. I mean, I've I've fallen off edges so many times. Uh, but here we go once again, killing that spider zombie, taking care of him because they will climb up the building and they will smack you. So spider zombies. Your first, uh, the bloated walkers. Your second, and the rest of them are pretty much just harmless. Just take pot shots at them as they're they're crawling across the ground like this, uh, and they will get into your bottom layer of your of your base as well too. Eventually, uh, that's why I told you guys in the previous episode to take out those stairs and uh, build yourself like a little little platform there so they can't get up. Uh, now here pretty much is where I decide I am going to join the uh, the pile of bodies down here. Uh, I was trying to um, get around the edge a little bit. Bam, there we go. <laughs> so what I've done is I've not panicked. Uh, they're all coming after me, but you got to remember uh, if this was nighttime and I didn't have uh, the classic zombie set on, those guys would be running and uh, you'd have to run as well too. But I've broke my legs, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, now if they are running, try to get them to run across the spikes. That's why those spikes are there. Uh, don't fret. Uh, this is <laughs> doable on both modes. Uh, so I'm going to take out a couple here uh, and then go back up to the building so these guys just don't follow me up my wood frames. Uh, so once I get back up to the top here, I'm going to just keep shooting them. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eventually uh, heal my leg here too. That's not my priority at the moment uh, because once I do get back up to the top, it doesn't really matter how quickly I can move across the top because I won't have to be running from the zombies. Here we are. So uh, let's uh, just go ahead, guys, and finish off this group here. So I quickly gather myself together, get rid of the last few, uh, last few coming along. Uh, you, you'll know it's over, guys, uh, when you look in the same direction they've been coming from, and you don't see any more coming. So that then you know it's actually safe, to, uh, safe to go down. Uh, you may hear a few in your building. There's going to be a few kicking around, but that's not a big deal. Uh, what you want to do after you don't see any more coming is just go down and do a, a walk around your base. Make sure there's no uh, none of them uh, hanging around. Uh, also crouch too. That's a good way to tell if you still have a zombie.
zombie problem. If you crouch and it says you're hunted or um, or sensed, that means you still have zombies around, uh, especially if you can't hear them as well too. Uh, I prefer to wear, wear headphones while playing the game, guys. Wearing headphones will give you a definite advantage uh, because some of the sounds are very sensitive. Uh, but now you see me come around to the front of the building. They've made their way through spikes. I actually have only two in the building, which isn't bad at all. As you can see, that, that guy was bashing the... Uh, the, the ceiling and the wall there, uh, which isn't a big deal. I might come down here uh, later and uh, do some repairs, but uh, I'm going to kill off the remainder of the zombies in the building. And then, guys, it's time to straight up loot. Now, you're going to have yourself a buttload of loot uh, going on. Uh, that guy there, I know you guys seen him standing and then he broke his leg. Somehow, he hit the spikes outside of that door. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but uh, yeah, he did the... Uh, did my uh, did me a favor there uh, so now yeah there's one of those spider zombies again those spider zombies sound like they're screaming that's how you can tell the sound sound of a spider zombie uh, now two guys uh, a helpful hint uh, after day seven you're gonna want to start making yourself more and more forges uh, that way you can make yourself more and more um, at the same time so these dogs here will also give you leather so make sure that you uh, you take the dogs and you skin them as well here too So congratulations guys, you have survived day 7, your first horde. So from here on in, these hordes are going to get tougher, they're going to get bigger, uh, there's going to be more of them, there's going to be more special zombies. Every horde you get, you get more of a special zombie. Like this one, we got spiders. Um, there should be a couple hornets flying around. Uh, there was one above my base. They're, they can be a little bit of a bitch to kill because they're so tiny and they're so far up in the air. Um, I usually just leave them alone unless they start bugging me. Uh, but yeah, so you guys have gotten everything done. Go around, clean up, do your repairs do everything else you need and from here on in guys it's up to you what you want to do uh, if you want to move to the main hub city uh, if you want to go somewhere else uh, or if you want to stay and improve this base it's completely up to you it's your game it's your survival do what you want uh, now if you guys do have any more questions definitely let me know down in the comments I'll, I'll do my best to uh, I'll do my best to answer them uh, I do know that you guys were requesting that I go past day 7 with this tutorial uh, but I really don't know what I'm gonna do after day 7 because it's a lot of gathering a lot of repetitiveness from here on in and it's uh, beefing up your defenses and you'll slowly learn uh, more defensive techniques and everything else as you go along uh, what I think I might do for you guys that requested that I keep doing this as a tutorial series is I may start a let's play on the same map that I started the tutorial on. Uh, if that's something you guys want, let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely make that a reality. Uh, but once again, guys, I want to thank you for um, a great successful series. Thanks for all your likes. Uh, thanks for subscribing and thank you for all your great comments. I wish I could reply to them all, but it's just absolute madness this last little while. Um, I wanted to make a 5,000k uh, subscriber video, but I blew way past 5,000, way faster than I ever thought I would. Uh, I plan on it this week. Hopefully I'll have one out. But now I'm just fucking blabbering. So guys, stay classy, stay surviving, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh,